We want a few more improvements to our detail page. We'd like the picture to be cropped and rounded. The About Me would look better as a table, and the fun facts could be offset from the other content with some borders. Let's jump right into a demo. We are back in VS Code with the Pet Cafe folder open. We're editing the yo-yo-detail.html page. Live server is running, and we can see the page in the browser. Notice that our image is square. We'll start by rounding that image. Back in VS Code, scroll up to the image in the first column. Add a class attribute to the image element and set it to rounded circle. Looking at the browser, it looks more like an oval. That's because our original picture wasn't square. If we really want a circle, we'll need to crop the image. Back in VS Code, let's add a style rule to crop the image. Click on style.css and add a new rule. We'll give it a class name of detail-image. We set the height to 250 pixels, width to 250 pixels, so it's square, and then set object fit to cover. A value of cover tells the browser to maintain the image's aspect ratio, but still fill the element's container. If the object's aspect ratio does not match the aspect ratio of its container, then the object is cropped to fit. So in our case, the image is cropped to fit into a 250 by 250 square. Let's add this class to our image element. Click on yo-yo-detail.html. Then add the detailed image class to the image element. Bring up the browser. Oh, cute. Notice that our image is a fixed size, regardless of the browser width. If we had instead wanted a responsive image that resized with the browser, Bootstrap provides an image fluid class to resize the image to its container. Feel free to try that out. When you're done, let's go back to the slides just for a moment. For the About Me section, to line up the labels and values a little nicer, we'll use a table. Going back to VS Code, scrolling down, let's replace the About Me elements with a table. We want the label, such as pet type, in one column and the value, such as cat, in the second column. Since we've already covered tables, want to give it a try yourself? If so, stop the video now and replace the paragraphs with a table. Are you ready to see my solution? Here we added a table element with bootstrap classes, a T body element for the body of the table, TR elements for each row, and TD or table data elements for each column. To draw attention to the values more than the labels, let's bold the values in the second column of each row. As we discussed earlier in this course, the bootstrap utility class for that is FW bold, where FW stands for font weight. Hold down the Alt key or Option key on a Mac, and we'll add it here, 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 and here. Space class equals FW bold, and escape to cancel the cursors. VS Code made that easy. Bring up the browser. That looks better, but maybe the About Me section should align at the bottom. Recall which Bootstrap utility class we need to align content at the bottom? Back in VS Code, scroll up. Let's add MT Auto to the div element. That sets the top margin to fill the space, basically moving the section to the bottom of the row. Checking it out in the browser, that placement looks good. Now, what about the My Story section? Looks like it could use a little padding. In VS Code, scroll down to the My Story section. Then we'll add a little padding at the top of the heading. PT2. In the paragraph text, since we styled lonely with italics, let's style I'm hungry with a different color. We already have a span element around the text we want to style. We can add a class attribute and set it to text info. To make it darker, we'll add FW bold to set the font weight. Bring up the browser and we can see it here. If we'd prefer to match the color to our site branding, we could override this color as we saw earlier in this course. Lastly, 
Let's add a border around the fun facts to make it appear within a box. Back in VS Code, scroll down to the Fun Facts section. We'll add a border around the entire section. In the Section element, add the class attribute and set it to Border to turn on the border, Border 2 to set the size of the border, and Border Secondary to set the color of the border. Next, let's give the heading background a darker color. In the H2 element, add the BG Secondary class to set the background color, and the P2 class for some padding. This should align this heading with my story. And recall that we overrode the BG Secondary class to our site branded color. Looking at it in the browser, it lines up nicely. But our heading text is too dark. Let's go back to VS Code and change it from Text Secondary to Text Light. Looking back in the browser, another nice looking page with bootstrap styles, and a few customizations of our own for a unique design. We could add more padding and margins to space things out a bit. Feel free to add more utility classes as you wish. Next, let's see what Bootstrap can do with user entry forms. Lots of useful tips in this video. If you learned something new, please like and subscribe.